Hello everyone! Friends, wine is one of the most civilized things in the world and one of the most natural things of the world that has been brought to the greatest perfection and it offers a greater range for enjoyment. We are talking about Heineken, the largest Dutch brewing company that was first brewed by Garrett Adrian Heineken in 1873. The beer is made of purified water, melted barley, hops and yeast. In 1886, Elion finished the development of the Heineken A yeast, which is still used in the brewing process today. Heineken's Italian operation began in 1974 with the acquisition of the Dreher Brewery. In 1996, it added the Moratti Brewery. Heineken Italy has six brewing plants producing over 575 million litres of beer and employs over 1,000 people. In the early years of Heineken, the beer won four awards which are still mentioned on the label of the beer bottles. One notable early success of Heineken where the company set out with a specific set of goals to prioritize more important customers, achieve better penetration for the Heineken brand and improve service standards. The better focus yielded a 14% growth in market share. The ultimate return on investment is to build a growing business of course. When increasing competition and increasingly demanding customers, good customer service is likely to be one of the main differentiators between those companies that blossom and those that fall by the wayside. It would be easy to think that having been recognized by others for successful approach for sustainability and with the backdrop of the global economic crisis, company would choose another time to review future commitment to society. But that has never been the Heineken way. Constant innovation on consistent themes to deliver long-term benefits is what company does best. As a business company recognizes the need to balance our financial sustainability with playing a role in a society. Company belief, brewing a better future approach strikes the right balance and makes positive long-term commitments to investment in the environment, communities, people and partnerships. Heineken is proud of that they are one of the world's great beer companies, hence their culture will reflect the company view and values. In addition, company has a fundamental belief in the concept and delivery of quality. It is also reflected in their other activities such as the social and employment policies. This will create benefit and value both for Heineken and their reputation. As a result, these values define Heineken corporate culture and working methods which help company to do the business successfully. And Huser, Bush, InBabe Group Medello and Submiller Public Limited Corporation are major competitors for Heineken. The main products of Heineken are Heineken Overt Bruin, Heineken Premium Light and Heineken Extra Cool. In 
2012, Heineken expected to benefit from continued positive growth momentum in higher growth economies and from revenue enhancing initiatives in developed markets. Heineken has made strong progress on the realization of its targeted 150 million euros cost synergies related to the acquired beer operations and expected to achieve this during 2012. Beside going business capability investment to leverage its global scale, Heineken continues to focus on capital investment in higher growth markets. The company plans to increase capital expenditure on property, plan and equipment to approximately 1.25 billion euros reflecting investment in additional capacity and the renewal and expansion of its returnable bottle fleet in higher growth markets. As a consequence, Heineken expect a cash conversion ratio below 100%. Heineken has been the most successful beer company in Europe and the rest of the world due mostly to the quality of their product, their marketing and their sponsorship ability. They sponsor annually the biggest sporting event which is the Champions League in Europe. Language and culture are problematic issues when it comes to international marketing. When a company enters the global markets, it has to deal with many issues which do not exist when it comes to the local market. Language is one of the problems and is always a challenge. Even though English is spoken around the world, in most cases, it cannot be used as a language for international campaign. Therefore, the translation of the campaign into the foreign language is very important. Generally, language and culture issues associated with global campaigns are very important and companies need to be very cautious when dealing with such matters. Finally, the language choice can affect the names of products or services. So friends, always bear in mind that your own resolution to succeed is more important than any other. All the best.